All right, welcome back to Mass Effect 3. Let us pick up our game again. In the previous stream, as a quick recap, uh, we had um, investigated what was happening at Grissom Academy. We rescued Jack and her students, including um, David Archer, who was the uh, Autistic Mathematical Genius that we met in Mass Effect 2 during the Overlord DLC. And then we went to the Citadel and we spent a couple of hours eavesdropping on conversations, doing half-written fetch quests, catching up with a few old friends, you know, the usual thing that you do on the Citadel. But right now, we're going to go directly to the next part of the main story mission. Which is our objective to get the Krogan on board as part of our war effort. The Turians want to help us, but they need the Krogans to help them. And apparently the Salarians are mad about it for some reason. So here we are at the, uh, I guess this is the Salarian homeworld. Yeah, Sir Kesh. Sir Kesh is the Salarian homeworld. So we're here to meet with some Salarian diplomat about this issue. Let's find out why they're unhappy about this situation. Commander, the Salarian Dalatras and Krogan clan chief are ready to come aboard. Have them brought to the conference room. And hope this doesn't start another war. Wow. Chep's really uh, the pessimistic. Krogan is in no position to make demands. Hey, it's Rex. Krogan has a name. Not Rex. That's right. And I'm not just some junkyard veteran. You unleash whenever you're in trouble. I've got my own problems. Reaper scouts have arrived on Tuchunka. So of course they have. Here if a few Turians go extinct. Trying to draw out negotiations will get you nowhere, Rex. I have no time for it. Just tell us what you want. The bottom line. I'll tell you what I need. A cure. For the genophage. Alrighty. Easy peas. Absolutely not. The genophage is non-negotiable. What's your concern? Uh, that's a dumb thing to say. We we know what the genophage is. We know what their concern is. Uh, but we're not going to waste time talking about it. The Krogan have paid for their mistakes. The genophage has gone on long enough. That's right. 1,476 years. If you're keeping track. That's enough. It was a thousand years of peace, free from these brutes. Oh my god, she's a space enough. racist too. Whether or not they deserve a cure is academic. It would take years to formulate one. I love this guy, he's so pragmatic. My information says otherwise. Oh. What you got for us? I love how he shoves this guy out of the way. The Solarian scientist <laughs> mailing through a conscience. He was on my planet, testing a cure on our female. Mm-hmm. I remember his methods were barbaric. But what you didn't know is that other females survived his experiments. Really? So the Dalatress here sent in a team to clean up the whole mess. That does seem like the Solarian um, operating model. This home video seems to have been shot by a Solarian, judging by the shadow that we saw. Don't insult me. Those are my people. They're immune to the genophage, and you're going to give them back. Dalatras, is this true? Well, will curing the genophage benefit my people? I mean, you gotta get with the program. My program. How long do you think you'll last alone against the Reapers? Because if you don't help, that's how it'll end up. That's right. And I'll be the last friendly Turian you ever see. What's it gonna be? There's no time to... For half measures. The females are being kept at one of our STG bases on Sir Cash. All right, which one? But I warn you, Commander, the consequences of this will be felt for centuries to come. There might not be Let's centuries to come. What are We're you talking not about? Foot on Sir Cash. This will take time. It happens now. As a Council Specter, Shepard can oversee the exchange. That's right. I can go wherever I want. We're going. I won't forget this, Commander. A bully has few friends when he needs them most. I'm the bully? Come on, now I'm the savior of the galaxy. Guys, give me one second here before we uh, launch the mission. I want to check on 
the uh, audio levels here a sec. Now they look okay to me. Yeah, they look like what they should be. Good. Excellent. All right, so who should we bring with us to Sirkesh? We'll bring Javik with us because we I don't think we brought him on a mission yet, have we? Maybe we have, but I don't remember. Uh, so Javik comes with. And who else might have an interest in this? Who else might have some dialogue? Uh, you know what? Javik is a biotic, right? What does he got here? Dark channel, lift grenade, pull and slam. Hmm, I mean the lift grenades I like. Dark channel could be interesting. I wonder if that can be detonated by Liara. It would be nice to have sort of a, a constant stream of detonations. On the other hand, Garrus here could have some interesting lines of dialogue vis-a-vis -vis the Krogan. And you know what? It's good for Garrus to come so that he can reassure the Primarch that we are operating in good faith. So we'll, we'll go with Garrus and Javik here on this one. Make sure they're both kitted out. Wow, I definitely have not used Javik yet. All right, Javik. This is the rifle with which you are most accustomed, I assume. So here you go. Is this the right setup that we need want for it? I think so, right? Yeah, makes sense. All right, that's that. And then, I mean, I guess you can have this. It doesn't even matter. You'll probably never use it. And then Garrus is set up properly as well. No, he's not actually. Garrus, we have many more goodies since the last time that we fought. So you can use that. Concentration mod, piercing mod, there we go. Very good. And what am I using here? We're going with the same thing for now, I guess. We're gonna go for it. All right, excellent. Uh, no points for me, six points for Garrus, which we will use on this or that. Turian Rebel, power damage, or assault rifle damage. I mean, I'm sure assault rifle damage would be better. Uh, ammo capacity irrelevant, headshot damage potentially relevant. But it's really this that we need to get to, right? Or this? Hmm. I think that would probably probably be better overall. We already have um, penetration uh, modifications added to Garrus's rifle, so he's good. Then he's good in that sense. Or we could just give him I mean, fifty percent right off the bat. That seems like the play for sure. There we go. And Javik. Now here's where we get to make some choices. I am not going to be putting too much into slam to be honest with you. I might put a bit in pull, but Lift Grenade, Dark Channel, and Vengeful Agent, Ancient, will be the ones that we prioritize, I think, for now. In particular, these two, so. I'm gonna go with damage over duration because I don't think things are gonna live that long, frankly. 42 seconds is a long time. Uh, yeah, so definitely damage. Increase the recharge speed. I mean, it's a lot of increase in the recharge speed, but This is also really great actually slowing down fast-moving enemies Hmm Hmm I think I won't miss the recharge as much as I like this probably I'll Go with that and damage or damage to armors and bear. I'll go with this, I think. I think this will work out better. We'll get more mileage out of it that way. All right, um, before we start investing into this, let's just get at least a couple of basic levels of the grenade. And then let's go into Vengeful Ancient. 
power damage or health and shield bonuses. I mean, that those power bonuses are pretty good, man. They might be worth stacking. Though they really might be worth stacking. So let's let's do that, I think. Right? Cuz we're talking about dark channel primarily. Yeah, let's let's do that. Increase squad mate power damage duration and force. So this is just good for the squad and that's good for the squad's shield beat. This is going to be you more useful, I think. All right. We'll go with this. We shall go with this. Time to visit Sir Kesh. This is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I like it. I still don't trust a word they say. Yeah, but I'm here, so... Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them home, Rex. You've waited long enough for this day. A lifetime. I appreciate the assist, Garrus. Hey, buddy. Figured you'd gone soft sitting on your throne. Forgot how to hold a gun. What a weird line. Who's that? He's a Prothean. Sometimes I'm not sure if the Normandy's a warship or a traveling fire <laughs> ship. But as long as he can hold a gun. Commander, I have the Solarian... It's weird that they didn't set. show Javik. Set her down. They just had his voice from out of frame. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dolatris authorized this herself. That's right. I knew they'd never keep their It doesn't word. matter, I authorize it. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. I mean goddamn Council Spectre, you can't tell me what to do. Rex! No! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? <laughs> I mean, it's a bit blunt. Rex is usually a smarter operator than this. I mean, he has a lifetime of mercenary experience, right? Halt! Man down! Hold your fire! Padaquicks. Hello, Padaquicks. We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. Yeah. As would we. But you have something valuable for Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist you remain under guard. I mean, come on, dude. Who are you gonna trust? I can handle this, Rex. If anything goes wrong, and all bets are off. <laughs> and that's it. Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, mm. Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Oh, look, it's a Yag. Careful! Watch the containment shield! Why do you guys have a yog? Brings back memories. They were much smaller in my cycle. As you can <laughs> see, the base contains sensitive information. I kind of wish I brought Liara so she could have a comment on that yog as well. Uh, the ex shadow broker that we killed, her predecessor, was also a yog. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials, morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sir Kesh safe for millennia. Does that include studying lost Krogan? The females were in poor health when we found them on Tuchanka. They were brought here to stabilize their condition. This whole planet smells wrong. I mean, it's only been six months, I'd like so... I'd to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Yog specimen arrival. All right, one second here, guys. Once more, I must double check one thing here in the audio because it just sounds a bit quiet to me or more quiet than I would normally expect. Hopefully, that's better now. Slightly. 
That seems better. Okay, great. Let's see. Quite the place, Sir Kesh. Let's take a moment and appreciate it. Got the uh, lush tropical environment here. The um, the mountains are actually part of the skybox, it looks like, which is a bit odd. They definitely look out of place, and especially when you start looking over here to the left, you can tell like the sharp difference between this mountain here that's an actual 3D model and those mountains back there that are just a 2D projection. It might not be part of the skybox, it might just be literally a 2D projection. It is a 2D projection. The mountain is a sprite, you can see it. Can you see the parallaxing over there between the two mountains? Like right above Shepard's head, basically. Wow. They use sprites for mountains. And the thing is, it, it, it's not a terrible solution, frankly. It's just that the, that mountain looks a lot closer now, now that I look at it. And the, the texture detail is really missing there. Anyway, it's one of those things where you don't want to look too closely. Or else you'll start to become disappointed by what you see. What's this? Please don't touch that. Why not? What is it? As I said, Commander, don't touch that. But I want I want to I want to know what it is. Again, I would ask you to refrain from touching that. Can you make me stop touching it? Perhaps don't touch that means something different in your language. Hmm. I would rather not refer this matter to the human embassy. You guys have a human embassy? But you didn't tell me what it just tell me what it is, man. Touch it all you want. You'll never find out what it does. I mean, are humans really so deprived of stimulus that they must insist on touching everything? Just this thing. Just tell me what it is. I'm afraid if you keep touching that, you risk a diplomatic incident. No, I don't want that, but are you really going to start a diplomatic incident over this? Further manipulation of that object is grounds for further admonishment. Hmm, doesn't sound so bad. Really? You must stop touching that. Once more, the Solarian Union formally requests that you not touch that. Wow, you're speaking on behalf of the entire Union, huh? Fine. If you are so enamored of that object, then I suggest you get your own feces analyzer. A feces analyzer? We've already been down that road. No more. Ah. That was a message from the developers to the pl to the player. This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. What do you guys think about that? Are you fans of poetry? One thing you have to say about Bioware, with the Solarians, they did make an effort to give, like, different kinds of faces. So this is more of a Malin face Solarian, and this is more of like a standard face Solarian. And obviously, uh, Morden had his own unique face. Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. Mm -hmm. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. Idle threats are empty threats. <laughs> Maybe when this war is over, you can come live on Tuchunka. You'd fit right in. Hmm. Idle threats are empty threats. Yeah, I mean, Rex, as we were saying, has like all, many years, hundreds of years probably, of mercenary experience. So, like the direct dumb frontal assault is not really his style, I wouldn't think. I mean, he's he's a big brute, but he's not stupid. He's actually quite intelligent. Who tipped you off about the females here? Sorry, Shepard, but they're listening to every word we say. Yeah, that's almost certainly true. I prefer my Solarian liver served raw. <laughs> what? What an odd thing to say. He's correct. It was a delicacy in our cycle. I mean, it was just such an odd, odd, like, he's like, okay, sorry, Shepard. Can't say anything. They're listening to what we say. Oh, by the way, I want Solarian liver. Serve raw, please. Just odd. This is, you know, one of these missions where it feels like the writing of the dialogue needed a couple more drafts to get it right. Back on the Normandy, Ooh, you said Shepard just, I mean, uh, Rex just popped into frame. Clans Jorgal and Ravenor sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. Oh, really? Have you noticed? This chunk of maybe a pile of radioactive rubble. But it's our pile, and we'll fight for the last Krogan to keep it that way. Radioactive. <laughs> Garrett's. I have to make friends with the one Turian in the galaxy who thinks he's funny. Was that meant to be a joke? Imagine how I feel. 
I'm supposed to hate Krogan, but you came along and warmed my heart with your winning personality. I could throw a few Solarians off a cliff if it'll make you feel better. Again, it this it's non sequitur after non sequitur, non humorous comment after non humorous comment. This it just seems like somebody drafted a few jokes, a little bit of banter, and no nobody ever bothered to review it and say that actually doesn't flow. It doesn't feel natural. It feels really awkward actually. What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn pijacks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. I mean, it, you gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta make a lot of tough choices to ensure yeah. we all die off. Your females are wise. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Fair enough. Sometimes you just have to make the least bad choice. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best. Saving everyone else from giant monsters. <laughs> Never going to let us forget about the Rachni Wars, are you? The last time I was at the Citadel, I didn't see a Turian statue in your honor. <laughs> and he laughs too much. Just wait till this war is over. They wrote too many uh, laugh to lines in for Rex, I think. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians. There he goes lunch. again. Okay, what else is going on around here? Told me the Turians can't hold out much longer. He's hearing the Reapers have them against the wall. The Turians have the biggest fleet in the galaxy. Mm. And we're only a few Mass Effect relays away from the whole mess. That's why you guys can't sit this one out. That's what I've been telling you. Major Kirahi. I haven't seen you in a long time, buddy. Uh, is there a reason that there's a gun in that machinery? That's a gun. We're actually gonna get that gun, I think, in a few uh, in a few minutes. We're gonna find it. Why is an upside down version of that gun sitting in this machinery? Commander Shepard, it's Major Kirahi. I'd heard you were coming. Hey, Major, you've been holding the line. Good to see you again. Sounds like you've been promoted. All right, so he's Captain Kirahi yes, back when no last time we saw him. On Hold the line. You saved my men that day. That's right. Good to see a friendly face, Major. Ah, there we go. Garrus Vicarian. Always a pleasure. It seems the Reapers have a way of bringing us together. They sure do. Um, but once again, I note... He got promoted. I didn't get promoted. I'm the one doing the hard work here. Come on, guys. What does it take to get Shepard a promotion here? I'm still Commander. I, I mean... I should at least be Captain. Admiral, something. Uh, da, 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 Vermeer. That seems like a reasonable place to start a conversation. I guess we're both still feeling the effects of Vermeer. Yes, ironic. You destroyed the genophage cure, yet now it's the key to an alliance. Mm-hmm. Your standoff with Erdnot Rex is legend within STG. I'm sure you saw Rex's entrance. Yep. Our colony's three systems away saw it. He just jumped out of a dropship. Please with the reception. Can't say I blame him. Apologies, but better that than a Krogan with a shotgun wandering the base. Think of all the casualties. Our med pig couldn't handle it. I mean, there are protocols, fairly. Uh, what else? Yeah, tight security. Security seems high. Are you expecting trouble? It's a special forces base. Always expects trouble. Failing that, create trouble for someone else. Ah. Our enemies have the same idea. A good principle to live by. Who's this? He's a friend. A Prothean. There you go. Prothean. Of course. Amazing what they can do with genetic modification these days. <laughs> Some new psychological tactic, Commander? Give the Reapers a good scare? And what are you really? Drell? Turian? Prothean. Oh. I see. Nah, already absorbed. Uh, what are you up to these days, buddy? It's about seeking of the Reapers, actually. Are the Solarians prepared for war with the Reapers? 
I've heard what they're doing to your Earth. I'm not sure any species can prepare for that. Though rumors suggest you're building a super weapon of some kind. Uh, you guys, I'm, I'm sure you're relying on more than just rumor. This business with the females is part of it. I need the Turian support, and they need the Krogans. Which is why I never became a diplomat. Too much hand-holding. Leave it to the Dalatres. What do you do? How did you get posted to this base, Major? I led the team on to Chunka that found the females. Nasty business. Malin may have meant well, but his operation was crude. So you're the people Test that came in after me to clean up. Females easily escaped the lab. I mean, it makes sense. I, I helped you out by cleaning up Vermeer. You helped me out by cleaning up the mess on Tuchanka. What do you think about bringing the female Krogan here? Our scientists say it's important to preserve the females. Evolutionary paradigms. Mm, not really evolution. They're hiding something valuable. They'll want to steal it. Either way, I have my orders. They'll be your problem soon enough. I like your attitude. And I like where this direct uh, conversation is going. Let's make them my problem. Nice seeing you again, Major. Likewise. And, Commander, regardless of what the politicians decide, you can count on my support retaking Earth. I appreciate it, buddy. You do that? Consider it my way of returning a favor. That's right, you owe me. It would be an honor to fight alongside you again. All right, let's party. Good day. Good to know that I have the uh, respect of my colleagues and peers in the uh, Special Forces badass soldier industry. Paddock Wicks, we'll come talk to you, I guess, at some point. Agree with them or not, our orders are clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan detainees. Detainees? Our superiors, that's all that matters. But they're gonna cure the genophage. Everything we've done to stop the Krogan will be for nothing. When I want your opinion, I'll promote you. Until then, stay sharp and keep your mouth shut. Can you promote me? I'm the one that needs to be promoted. Come on, man. What I gotta, I gotta go talk to Am Admiral Anderson. That's why I didn't want to come with me when uh, when we were running away from Earth. He said, man, if I go with Shepard, he's just going to talk about promotions again. I don't have time for this. What's this? During my cycle, we forgot what beauty looked like. The Reapers extinguished it everywhere they went. What was your home world like? I never knew. It was already a wasteland when I was born. Jesus, man. Paddock. You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. Fantastic. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. Ah, yeah, whatever we need to do. If everything goes according to plan, Rex won't be a problem. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. I like your attitude. Let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Well, I mean, sometimes I'll just kill people. So it's not just evolution, it's it's me too. I get to decide who lives or dies. Thanks for your time. Of course. Proceed into the elevator when you're ready. Alright, let's go. Let's go, dudes. Now take this elevator down and someone will... What's happening? Sensors have picked up activity on the perimeter. Hurry, Commander. Someone will meet you below. 